to sign your next five clients for free on LinkedIn. And I've got William Brown here and Alex Mosey because they've actually shared, I've literally binge watched all their videos and I've implemented some of the stuff they teach. And they don't even teach stuff about LinkedIn really. I've implemented their philosophy and the way they go about doing stuff onto LinkedIn. And it helps me book, well, this month I personally booked, let me go here and check. This month I booked 83, 83 calls in the last 30 days. So I'm gonna share with you what they've helped me do and what I personally do myself in order to book these qualified calls. And to be fully transparent, this video is gonna be long. So if your attention spam is like a child, if you prefer like TikTok and stuff, then please click off this video, no problem at all. You're probably not the one that I can, I can help. But if you want to get actual value from this video, then watch to the end. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's definitely going to help you. If you want to sign five clients for the end of the year, completely for free. You just need some, you know, a few hours a day in order to do this. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Joshua Bale. And two years ago, I've built an, an agency currently doing around $15,000 um, in monthly recurring revenue. And now I teach and coach um, people on how to do the same. And I also run a dumb for your agency help and business coaches. So in order to make this happen, step one, you get your phone, step two, you throw it away and you work. That's literally like the first step because this is not going to be possible if you've got your phone here and you're checking your DMs and you're checking notifications and your girlfriend's sexy, your mom's telling you to do this, and your dad's telling you to go and wash the dishes. Like you just need to zone away. I'm currently in the trenches right now. I'm in the trenches. I'm in the basement getting after it. No distractions, like literally in my basement getting after shit. And I want you to do the same. So how to send your first um, five clients on LinkedIn. It's super simple. You've probably heard this before. I'm literally going to give you all my scripts where I follow up people. I'm going to give you examples of my content so you can use and you can copy and you can leverage. And it's simple, but not easy. And I was literally listening to one of Hamozi's um, podcast yesterday on the way to the gym. And he mentioned that he mentioned the same thing. It's simple, not easy. And the reason why it's it's not easy because it's long and it's tiring and you got to do a, like so much stuff. For instance, you got to send hundred messages. So he likes the rule for hundred, hundred messages, hundred pieces of content, hundred outreaches, all of that stuff. And it, it does take time. That's 300 minutes of work a day. And it sounds quite long and it probably is, especially if you've never done this before. And this is why like eight out of 10 businesses don't like succeed because they just give up after like a week. And so, if you want to actually do well, you, I'm not going to say a lie. You can't, it's going to be fucking hard. Like it's going to be a graft, but trust me, it's going to pay off. You just need to keep, like keep at it, keep doing the thing, keep sending the outreaches. And I'm going to basically, uh, basically share how to do all of that. And so let's dive straight into it. So there's three types of ways to generate clients on LinkedIn. In my opinion, I'm only speaking to my younger self. So I'm speaking to the version of myself who first started on LinkedIn. And this is exactly what I would do to get five clients. And I literally signed six clients last month and I literally did the same thing. So there's outreach, there's content and commenting. There's three three things. Don't think about doing anything else. Don't daydream on the platform. You get on the platform, you're either engaging with people and not just people. I'll show you who to engage. You're either creating really good content, primarily story-based content, educational lead magnets, which I'm about to share with you and show you live examples. Um, and then you're all, you're all you're doing outreach. You're sending people messages. It can be cold. It can be warm. I'm going to share with you how to do both. So let's talk about outreach first. So in terms of outreach, I would send 100 messages a day. I would do 20 voice notes and 80 messages. And if I'm sending cold um, messages, I'm going to share with you exactly what I send with voice notes and written. So in terms of the voice notes, I would say this. So I'd literally get my phone, so it's here. I'd record myself. I would send, you know, the person voice note. And I would say, hey, Josh, hope you're doing well. I might have something or an opportunity that would help you, you know, generate leads as a business coach on LinkedIn. I don't want to go into too much detail, but just shoot me a quick thumbs up and I'll be more than happy to send some more information over. If not, no worries, have a great day. And I'll just do that. 23 seconds, short, sharp to the point. I'll send about 20 of them a day. It should get you about five replies, couple yeses, couple noes. It should turn into a booked call, like if done right, if done consistently too. When, you know, tweak your script, refine your script, and eventually you will see the, the benefit of doing that. If you do this consistently, everything I'm going to show with you in this video is just you need to do this consistently or it's not going to work. You can't just do it for one day and give up. So in terms of the messages, so 80 messages, and people would say, oh, Josh, I don't know who to message. I run out of connection requests. There's so many different ways to message people. So you can go in events, you can join events. So for instance, if I was to go on my LinkedIn now, and I've literally done it. So if I go into, 
let's just go into my events now. I don't know why it's not working. Nope, doesn't want to work today. Okay, that's fine. So what you want to do, you want to go into your events. Okay, perfect, that's working. You want to go to, so for instance, I'm a lead generation agency. So I want to go into events that talk about lead generation, that talk about getting clients and generating leads on LinkedIn. Because what I can do, I can join that um, event. So right now I can join this event and there's over, there's nearly 40,000 people. So what does that mean? Those are 40,000 people that are potentially interested in finding ways to book um, leads on LinkedIn. And this is not really cold messaging. This is like, you can say, you know, hey, I see we're both attending this event, talking about lead generation. Um, I actually help do X, Y, and Z. Would you be open to me sharing with you how I do it, etc.? And it's more like there's, there's obviously like a common ground there because you're both in the same event and you can sort of use that initial message to get through the door. So that's how you warm, you, you do warm out reading. So that's not exactly cold, that's more warm. So you can do that and you send 80 of those messages. So for instance, I'm going to show you an example. You join, you join the group. Once you join the group, you can go ahead and so for instance, uh, Joanna marketing director. So she is potentially a, um, a fit for me. And so I'll just literally click here and guess what? You can message them free message. Some, some people have free open profile, so you can just message as many people and you can send follow ups too. So for instance, if you used to go on your LinkedIn, you can connect with people, send voice notes the next day, you can go to connections and then you can just blast out some follow-ups, you know, hey, did you receive my message? Hey, just making sure you got my message. And that's how you send 80 messages. So they don't have to be all new messages. They can be follow-ups, they could be anything, but 80 touch points, 100 a day. I'm telling you, do 100 a day for the next three months. You're gonna, you're gonna generate so many leads that you don't even know what to do with them. And so that's that. In terms of the metrics we want to track, and you know I'm really big on metrics. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know I'm really big on tracking. If I'd start from zero, I would get really good at tracking. I'd probably be making 100K right now a month if I was good at tracking. So these are the key things that we want to track. We want to track how many messages we're sending a day. We want to track how many people are seeing our messages, so media scene rate. We want to track how many positive replies we are getting from messages. We want to also track how many people we send in over our calendar link to and how many people are we actually end up booking appointment. So it's MSR, PIR, PRR, sorry, CSR and ABR. So out of 100 people we message, we want at least 60 people to see the message. If 60 people are not seeing the message, then you need to tweet the message. The message is clearly not something that, um, it's, it's clearly not working. So you need to just change it. Positive reply rate. So out of 100 people, that um, that we message, we want at least four to six people to reply positively at the minimum. Out of a hundred people we message, we want two people, we want to go and send two people our calendar link. They're open to a conversation and they want to go ahead and book a call. And then out of a hundred people, we want one person to end up booking a call. If you are in KPI, so if these metrics, you've, you've um, clocked in these metrics and you're booking at least one call a day, do not change anything, get to 30 calls, get to 30 calls a month, and then watch my video. I've literally got a video how to hire, manage, um, how to hire and manage virtual assistances, create SOPs, share it over to the virtual assistant, and they would do it on a commission basis only. Like, I don't wanna go into that this too much. You can watch my video explaining that, but make sure you've, you've, you've got proof of concept first. So make sure you've booked 30 calls yourself because you don't want to outsource something that doesn't work i see a lot of agency owners they would like go and outsource something that they don't even know it works get proof of concept get 30 calls consistently i would say get 30 calls consistently for like two months and then outsource that you know hire five vas hire three vas to the same thing so you're not just booking one call you're booking four or five calls a day and that's how you scale and that's how you can go from like literally like zero to like 20 30k overnight because you're just booking more calls once you get to six, once you're taking six calls a day, you would then hire a sales rep because you can't take, I mean, six calls a day, that's like six hours of work. You can do more, but I think for me personally, six calls a day is like, I'm done. Like I need to eat, I need to live my life and just go to the gym. So I'm not, well, I'm nearly at that point now when I'm taking six calls. Um, I'm at the process now where I probably look to hire a sales rep so I, so he can take another six calls, so that's 12 calls a day. And if you're close to that, you know, 10, 20 percent, that's one or two clients every single every single day. And those are the numbers I'm personally looking to hit. 
And so that's how you do it. That's the process. Like I said, go on my YouTube channel and check, you know, my videos and how to do that. And so that is with the outreach. In terms of content, so in terms of content, from what I personally see worked really well, I'm only sharing with you what, what, what worked really well for me. And I'm going to share with you the examples too. So story posts, educational posts, lead magnet posts. Out of all these ones, if you want to generate leads, I would personally go for lead magnet posts at least two, three times a week. And then I would go for story posts. I would... I wouldn't like. I would do educational posts. I do educational posts, but if we're, if you want to generate leads, I would do lead magnet and story posts, and I'll explain to you why. Lead magnet posts is something where you have something super valuable to give away in exchange of, you know, a like, a comment, and then you would DM them. So, for instance, if I was to share with you an example for lead magnet posts, which I do have here, um, let's just get it up. So lead magnet post. So obviously we all know Diddy's trending on the market. So I put how to penetrate the market, hashtag no Diddy. That was my hook because you need to be able to hook someone in at the start, which is super important. I'll explain how to do that um, later on. And so you need to hook someone at the start. And then I explained, you know, I recently made a video sharing my exec strategies. This has helped me book 30 plus meetings a month all without spending a dime. So I can book meetings without spending no money. That's people's dream, right? They want to be able to book meetings for free without spending no money. I tried posting it, but it's over 15 minutes long. As you do know, LinkedIn, you can only post videos for a minimum of, um, maximum of 15 minutes. Anything over that, they won't allow you. Um, so LinkedIn, LinkedIn wouldn't let me, but it covers everything you need, how to generate attention, how to craft a unique offer, how to convert that attention into calls. If you want this video, do this. Like this post, comment, goal time, connect with me and I'll send it over. Keep working, you've got this. And then I've always got a PS at the end, um, which is something actually Lara Costa bought one of her courses. She actually recommends, she's got hundreds of thousands of followers. So I'm listening to people that are way ahead of me. I don't really, I don't want to ask why, you just do it. And that's another thing that William Brown taught me because he's always like, anytime he's bought, bought a course, a mentorship, a program, he doesn't sort of question why do I have to do this? He just copies them. And that's literally what I'm doing. And so I copy what William Brown tells me. William Brown also explains to have one offer for one audience at one high ticket price. That's exactly what I'm doing. And then a back end offer on the back end, like a mastermind. I'm not at that stage yet. I do have a, a coaching offer, which I'm going to explain towards the end. Like I do one on one coaching, but it's just one offer, one price, one avatar. Hermosi says this too a lot, but I consume quite a lot of um, William Brown's content. He mentions that quite a lot. And I'm literally just going to copy him because he's way ahead of me. So. <laughs> In terms of the lead magnet post, so let's go back into that. But once you do that, I mean, look at the look at this. I got nearly a thousand impressions, got twenty nine comments, twenty likes. People have engaged. I've got a, pretty much a screenshot of me, you know, with the whole diagram with Diddy in it too, to help you capture people's attention because he's a hot topic right now. You need to speak about what's trending on the market to to go viral to get good impressions. That's just the reality. Um, and yeah. And then one, another hack too, guys, and know a lot of people don't actually mention this. When you post, you want to comment on your post three times and you want to mention something valuable in the post three times. And what it does, because LinkedIn doesn't know the algorithm because it's all like, um, it's not it's not humans. It's basically like, I don't want to say robots, but I don't know who the controls the algorithm, but it's all like systemized and automated. So if I've posted and I comment three times on my post, LinkedIn's not going to know whether it's me or someone else. And so automatically the post gets pushed in the first, like, I don't know, five minutes to more people. Because if LinkedIn detects that your post is getting a lot of comments and likes, what are they going to do? They're clearly going to think, okay, this post is clearly what people want. Um, we're going to push this out to more people that are looking for lead generation, are looking to book more calls. And that's just how the argument works. I'm not cracked here. I'm not an expert, but from what I've, I've learned and what I've read, this is how it works and it does work because I generate leads from this. So, um, so that's in terms of the lead magnet post. Let's go back into, um, so story posts. This is another thing too. So once again, Lara Costa, she's got hundreds of thousand followers. Um, I don't sort of ask like, why, why is this? Why is this? I just copy what these people are telling me, like, because it's working. So why am I going to question what's working? So in terms of introduction posts, 
So you can do one about yourself. I personally done one about my brother. So my brother, um, he works within the company. We're, per we're, we're both personally trying to build a brand on LinkedIn. So, and we have the same surname, but I don't know if actually people know that we were like actually brothers. So I said this literally this week. So I said, for those who don't know, Jeremiah is my little bro. Why find a business partner when I can work with him? Yes, my blood brother, not my AI broski. So just adding my own humor, my personality in there. We're taking over this platform very soon. Remember I said this, he talks about how to, how to grow on LinkedIn by commenting. I talk about booking meets on LinkedIn. We educate people on different strategies to win on LinkedIn. Ultimately, the goal is the same. Growing by commenting equals money. Booking meetings with outbound equals money. Let's not bullshit. We're all trying to make cash. Although it's difficult, um, although it's difficult not to always think about cash. Um, and then I can't remember what I said after that. But all the cash will come after it. Give Jeremiah a follow if you haven't. Keep working. You've got this. Tag your sibling if they're, if they're on LinkedIn. PSS, shout out to Lara Costa. LinkedIn Academy courses lit. So the reason why I tried to at Lara, she actually didn't comment, but because she's got hundreds of thousands of followers, like if she comments on my post, like everyone's comments on my post. And so I see a lot of people do that. Um, yeah, you just have to play the game, like honestly. Do I want to be doing something like this? Not really, but I just need to play the game. Like it's just a game and business is a game, life is a game, you know, know how to play the game to win. And because of this, I also, I put a picture of myself. So, you know, my brand and I put a picture of my brother. So you can see we've got a decent old brand. We've got, you know, it looks professional. Like we look, we look the shit. And this is not me being arrogant, but you need to obviously back yourself, be confident and look the shit because people are not going to take you serious if, you're, if your profile is looking like a joke, man. <laughs> and so this got 50, uh, nearly 50 likes, 39 comments and nearly 15,000 impressions. And this is an introduction post. So if you used to do an introduction post about yourself, you can say, um, for those who don't know, my name is Joshua DeBell and I help my clients, I help business coaches put meetings on LinkedIn. Like just introduce yourself. Like these posts go viral. Like introduce, I didn't even know about this until I bought Laura, Laura Costa's um, course and she explained how to do that. So in terms of educational posts, like I said, this is an educational video I'm, I'm basically like creating on my YouTube channel. I do quite a lot of educational videos um, explaining, you know, what I do and who I help and how I help people and giving more insight. So that's something that you can also do yourself, whether it's video, whether it's carousels, whether it's, um, it's long form copy, just educate your audience too. I would don't do these too much. I would probably do more um, lead magnet posts, to be honest with you, and introduction posts and story posts. But yeah, you can do these a few times too. In terms of the lead magnet post, so you're going to want to pay attention and pay attention to this. So, so lead magnet post, like literally pay attention to this. This will generate you so many leads. Um, so with this, you want to add a hook at the start and then you want to explain what you figured out. So I figured out how to book 30 meters on LinkedIn consistently. I've explained, you know, what it covers and then I've given a call to action. Like the post, comment goal time, connect to me, I'll send it to you straight away. And as you can see here, all the comments came through. Um, so let's go back. So in terms of story posts, like okay, story posts are good. Um, they're, they're, they're as, to be fair, they're probably the most powerful after lead magnet posts, just because people love a story. People love like, okay, like this guy's, who is this guy? Like, I really want to understand him on a deeper level. And I say this because your your audience is going to want to work with you because they like you, to be honest. You know, they're not going to buy the product. They're not people working with me. So for instance, if you're watching this video right now, you're going to work with me in the future because you like me, like more than my actual what I'm actually offering. And that's super important. I actually didn't start to realize that. Um, you know, I've I've signed a few clients on this YouTube channel and I asked them like, why do you want to work with me? And they said, because I can relate to you because, you know, you look like me, you speak like me. So just be yourself, have some stories, have some cool stories to tell people and go ahead and, and post about it. You might be uncomfortable, like all this content stuff, like I'm creating this, this piece of content, this is all foreign to me. Like doing this is really getting out of my comfort zone. I'm going to be fully transparent. Like I'm not shy but i'm like reserved to keep myself to myself but in order to grow my business i've had to get used to being uncomfortable and so this is me being uncomfortable this is me being fully transparent like i'm i don't 
I'm not comfortable creating videos and things like that, but you know, I just had to get in a position where I need to get uncomfortable in order to grow, in order to grow my business. So that's that in terms of posting. Uh, by the way, if you find this video valuable, I'd appreciate if you just like and subscribe and, and maybe share it with someone who, who also is struggling to, to generate and sign clients on LinkedIn. But yeah, let's dive straight into the actual, the pitch messages and exactly what I say. I've got some examples and things like that and then the follow-ups. So there's three parts of doing, you know, cold outreach on LinkedIn. There's part one, the initial message. So for instance, I just made a message up here. This is the same one. So I might have an opportunity that can help you do, that can help you with pain point. Don't want to go into too much detail. Show me a thumb, show me, show me a th thumbs up and I'll send over. So you want to send this as a voice note or like a connection message. Once they say yes, sorry, no, if they don't reply, you send three follow-ups. Three follow-ups, you can say anything as simple as, you know, hey, does that work? Hey, did you say my message? Hey, mind if I share some information? After three messages, after three follow-ups, and you want to send once every two days, um, if they're not interested, it's fine. Just go on to the next one. And just don't get too down. Like not everyone's going to be interested in your shit. Like it's just a reality. So don't like start getting upset and stuff like that. And then once they're interested, you want to send them basically a mini pitch explainer. Like you want to share with them what you do. You want to share a case study. If you don't have a case study, just explain the process, go into fine detail with the process and then just ask for the call. Literally that simple. Um, don't overthink this. So I help X, Y, and Z. I've recently helped this client like yourself get from pain point to desired outcome. I'll be happy to share with you how it all works. That's it. And then what you can do, if you're getting objections, you can create a document. So for instance, if I was to get my objection handling document, as you can see here, this is my calendar. So I've got a very busy day, um, but let's just go into my common questions. So this is my common question. So anytime that someone asks me how much it costs, what platforms, any questions I've gathered over the past year, I put it in here and guess what? My VA doesn't need to think. They would just go ahead and copy and paste the answer here. So that's what you need to, that's what you should do um, if you are getting the same questions. Because it's, how long does it take to have to type out all the time when you're getting the same questions? Where you can just document it. Um, and then in the future, when you have a VA, they can just go ahead and, and implement the, the objections and handle them. And so in terms of the follow ups, Yep, you're probably thinking, what the hell? But we sent up to eight follow ups. Um, a lot of people stop here. These are all the people that are never going to make as much money. Um, the people that are going to make a lot of money are going to do six, seven, and eight. So make sure that's you send literally two follow ups, send a follow up every two days. Like that's just the reality of follow ups. As you got that from Charlie Morgan, Charlie Morgan actually big on the follow up. So send follow ups. That works. Part three, book a call, send your link. Um, sounds good. I'll drop a link to my calendar. Let me know. And then put your link. And then if they don't book a call, send again eight follow ups. And if you send follow-ups, you would so for instance, every month I sign an extra two clients just through following up. That's literally how powerful it is. An extra two clients every single month. That's literally, that can be six figures by just following up with people. But people are lazy, they don't want to do it. I hope what you. I hope if you're watching this video, you're not lazy and I hope you do it. So um, that's pretty much it. It's literally that simple in order to to get your first five clients on LinkedIn for free. So if you like this video, you know, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I pr appreciate, it, of course, um, if you want some like one on one coaching, if you want me to help you basically, I basically help you do what I'm what I shared and hold you accountable and walk you through this journey and, and jump on calls and really figure out your niche, your offer, your messaging, how to track, how to hire, how to find VAs and I'd be more than happy to help you book a call and we can we can potentially work. If not, no worries. Carry on watching my videos. Carry on watching con um, other people on YouTube. There's so many people giving some super, super source on LinkedIn, um, uh, on YouTube, sorry, regarding LinkedIn. So go ahead, try and figure this all out. If you need help, shoot me a message. I'll be more than happy to, to speak with you. Either DM me on LinkedIn or just book a call um, down below, you know, and we can get to work. So I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe if you found this valuable. And take care. Keep killing it.